Good afternoon, and welcome to Limitless Creations by Kimberly. I am Michelle, I'm Kimberly's mom, and today I'm going to do my version of a steamed cabbage. Okay, first I have a cabbage, I have a cup with some water, I have some black pepper, a bottle of olive oil, I have some green peppers cut up, I have two potatoes cut, and salt, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wash my hands. My hands. I'm gonna take my cabbage, I'm gonna take pieces off, because we know that the cabbage has spots on it where insects or whatever has gotten onto it. And we're just going to take those pieces off, which I'm going to discard. I'm going to take the cabbage, put it on a cutting board, and I'm going to cut it in half. Your knife is a lot sharper than this one. Watch those fingers there. <laughs> Whoa, it didn't want to cut for me. Okay. So in half. I'm going to take the core of the cabbage out. I'm going to cut it in half again. Oh, my knife don't want to cut. Gotcha. There we go. Let's do this other part here. Okay. There we go. This cord that I said I was going to take out, I'm going to take that out. Put that right there. Last one right there. Okay. And if you see any more of uh, the leaves of the cabbage that you don't think you want to use, you can just take that off too. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, here in my sink I have a strainer. I'm gonna use this strainer. Once I've cut the cabbage up, I'll cut it up in here. I'm gonna rinse the cabbage. Some people don't cut the cabbage you know, up in the beginning, they'll just use the whole piece. However, I just feel better cutting it up somewhat. And by the way, this was this cabbage was one of the blessings that I received today. Today at um, Encounter Church, they gave out food to help the people of the community that were in need. And cabbage was one of the items that were given. So I'm going to take advantage of this. And I'm going to use this for Sunday's dinner, a part of Sunday's dinner. Haven't yet decided what's going to go with the cabbage. However, I'm going to get this part done up. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to turn some cold water on and wash my cabbage. I think we'll put a sink stopper inside the sink, turn on some cool water, add some salt, and put the cabbage in there. Let it soak a little bit, then rinse it, and then put it in the pot. Okay, now that I've washed my cabbage and I've let it drain a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the stove. I'm going to put it on kind of in between me and them. It's my pot here. Here, I'm going to start to put my cabbage into the pot. After each session, I put a little bit of whatever I'm going to add, like the green peppers that I cut up. I'm going to put a little salt in there. Not too much. 
I'd rather leave it where you can add to it if you need to, as opposed to putting too much and you can't take it away. I'll put a little pepper in there. Okay. Then I'll put the rest of my cabbage in here. I haven't put any water in there as of yet because I do believe that cabbage makes its own juices. So that's the reason why I have such a small amount of water in the cup that I'm going to use. I'm going to get it all in the pot. of these green peppers in here. I'm going to put my potatoes in here so I can be cooking along with it. You can put as much potatoes as you like. I just choose to put a few in here. bit starts to cook down then I'm gonna put my lid on there and I'm gonna clean up the items that I use I'll be back okay now you can see that my cabbage is starting to steam you can see the steam coming up from it you can kind of even hear it sizzling a bit I'm gonna take my fork and kind of like press down somewhat okay I'm doing this because I want to make sure that the pot lid fits securely on top of it okay and that little bit of water, which I initially put out and didn't use, I'm going to pour it in there now. Okay. I'm going to put my lid on. Rinse it for a second time. And now you see it goes completely on there. And I'm going to turn it down a little. And I'm going to let it cook. As you see, you can see that the cabbage is steaming, okay? Everything is all in there together. And um, another thing that you can use if you'd like, depending on what you'd like to season your cabbage with, you can use bacon. Some people use ham hocks or some kind of smoked meat or whatever the case may be. Whatever you feel you'd like to use as a seasoning for your cabbage. It's fine. There's a little water in there. It's not overwhelming with water. It's just a little water that it's, you know, it's steamed. And you can see the cabbage is nice and tender. Let me find one of those potatoes and let you see how it's cooked. You put your fork in there. It's ready. You might even want to put maybe a little crushed red pepper in there. It's really up to you what you want to add to it. To as for is your desired taste and flavoring. But thanks for watching.